Today's show is sponsored by Black Box. I mean, with, with a web series, something that's, you know, that's not, not necessarily uh, paid for a subscription or anything, we're putting it out there for free, but it's about, I guess, engaging with communities. Where to, where to start with reaching out to those people would be, would be the first bit of well, advice. Well, the first thing I would say is don't call it a web series anymore. Yeah, stop mm-hmm. calling it a web series. Call it a streaming series. I'm being honest. Uh, on a yeah. marketing standpoint, a web series has a much different connotation than a streaming series. Because Netflix, like, uh, you know, uh, uh, Stranger Things, that's a streaming mm-hmm. series. That's not a web series. Um, so if you can kind of put yourself in that category, that's that's marketing tip number one, is don't call yourself a web series. Because awesome. if, if you remember back in the day, web series, eh, you have a bad, bad niche. So slowly they started growing, but uh, streaming series is something I would say, uh, call it instead. Um, secondly, instead of going out there and giving it out for free, um, and we, which you still are going to do, but this is a tip. Mm-hmm. Um, you can upload it directly to Amazon and upload it to Amazon and you now you're calling it an Amazon exclusive series. So all of a sudden now you have the cachet of Amazon with your video series with your streaming series as opposed to being a web series being tossed up on YouTube so now and only live and make it live on Amazon because everyone Mm -hmm. has Amazon everyone everyone sees it on Amazon everything's yeah you could put maybe some clips you could put some scenes on YouTube Uh as a marketing thing and I'll talk about that in a second but it will live on Amazon and give it away for free for prime users Mm -hmm. so if you do that you'll start making a little bit of money now if you can generate a bunch you could do that you know and by the way you could also put it up for sale so put it up Mm -hmm. for a you know a dollar an episode or buy the whole series for seven dollars or whatever it is and put it up on prime so set all of that up through amazon and all of a sudden you have a small revenue stream you're not going to get rich you're not going to make your money back but it's Mm -hmm. something it's you know it's if it's 50 bucks i'd pick it up if i was walking on the floor you know picking Mm -hmm. it up off the street so that would be my biggest advice is amazon and setting it all up there then marketing, um, marketing is a little bit bigger issue. So th- it's an so give me the the breakdown of the show again, real quick. Uh, it's a bunch of bicycle couriers who uh, discover they're being used to smuggle magical artifacts and uh, have to decide to protect the city that they've been pushing against for so long. Okay, so um, what kind of artifacts are they? Um, they're, they're kind of these magical relics that are being Magi- smuggled out. Okay, the so they're magical yeah. relics. So this mm. is more of now you're in the kind of fantasy sci-fi-ish mm-hmm. world a little bit, if you will. So then you got to go and find those uh, that audience that already exists. So mm-hmm. by creating, so those audience exist on Facebook fairly easily. Uh, you can search for groups. You can search for uh, pages, but specifically groups. Uh, that's going to be the easiest way to get started. Um, and then I'll give you a couple other tips as far as where else you can market it. But get that started. You got to create a trailer for the show. So mm-hmm. create an actual blown, full blown trailer for the show that's very exciting. Put all the all the bells and whistles into it, and that's what you're gonna post up on YouTube. You're gonna throw it up on your Facebook, all that kind of stuff. Um, if you go after like you know show love, you know movie lovers, things like that, uh, that are into that genre, you'll mm-hmm. be able. It's, it'd be okay. It's free. Take a look. How long are the episodes, by the way? Uh, seven to eight minutes. Oh, so short. Th- that's yeah. really short. How many? How many? Mm-hmm. How much in the series? How many? Uh, we we've shot the pilot. We've got the pilot done, and then there's another eleven to go. Okay, so you only got the yeah. one pilot right now. Uh huh. Okay, so that and when do you plan on releasing the other ones? Um, that to a certain extent, that's going to depend on the amount of investment or sponsorship we can pull in based on the pilot. Okay. Um, I'd love that to be early next year. Okay, so the, so you're using okay, so now it's a little clearer. So you don't have a you don't have a full blown product yet. You have just one pilot that you're hoping to generate. Uh, you're hoping to generate more money to be able to continue the series. Yes, yeah, exactly that. Got it. So then. Uh, but I love what you're saying about taking the web web series name off it and and repackaging like that. That's yeah, I love that. Oh, great! I'm glad. <laughs> uh, it, it really is a big deal, and I've seen it work for so many other filmmakers that by taking that web moniker off of it, it just Mm -hmm. elevates it a little bit. It's stupid, but it's marketing. That's what it is. Um, So if you just got the pilot, that's a different ball game because if it was just, if you just had a whole series, I mean, you could arguably um, put the pilot up on YouTube as well, Mm -hmm. uh, but putting it up, but I honestly think you should keep it on Amazon at least for a little while and see how it plays. Mm -hmm. 
You could always Ooh. throw it up on YouTube, but when you throw up a series on YouTube, it just cheapens it a little bit. And it's nothing against YouTube. I love my YouTube channel. Um, but when you're doing something narrative like this and you don't have a huge audience on YouTube, it could look cheap. Whereas mm. the, the cachet of being up on Amazon, is there is cachet to that. And even to investors, they're like, hey, look, this is a new series. I, we just put the pilot up. It's an Amazon exclusive series. Take a look at it and send them a link to Amazon. Holds a lot more weight than sending them a link to YouTube or even yeah. Vimeo, you know? Uh, but you can put clips of that or create a trailer for that first episode and create a YouTube channel for that, whether that is a channel for your page, um, for uh, for your for your property, the, the, the actual series, mm -hmm. um, for you as a filmmaker or your production company. Um, you, uh, you can create a channel for that, and that's a whole other conversation uh, mm -hmm. of how you could kind of package that together. But, um, but I would definitely put the trailer together uh, and put it up everywhere everywhere put the trailer up mm -hmm. everywhere don't put the, the the actual product everywhere put the trailer yeah. any and everywhere you know like i say ho, ho it out whore it out uh, uh -huh. it's, you know just get it everywhere you can because uh you know when i did my first short uh my trailer got me everything got me all uh -huh. my reviews got me all my attention because no one was going to sit down and watch a 20 minute uh a short film Right, you know, without any any kind of lead up to it, with no stars or anything like that. But that trailer, if you do a good job editing that trailer, uh, you'll be able to get it into a lot of different places. I wanted to share with you this amazing new service called Blackbox. Imagine taking old footage that you've shot in the past and being able to submit them to all the major stock footage firms all with one click. And you can split the commission among multiple crew members or creators. So to sign up for free, just go to blackbox.global.